Hello, I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. Recently, I replaced four windows at my house. And if you have not watched how I replaced these windows, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, right after I finished my window replacement, Smart Wings, a company that customizes a variety selection of smart blinds and shades, reached out to me and said, hey, you just replaced windows. Why don't you try our smart blinds? So here they are, 50% blackout, motorized woven wood shades with Apple HomeKit compatibility by Smart Wings. The customization process is super simple on SmartWings website. First and foremost, you can see the products support Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, and SmartThings. In Blinds and Shades section, you can see they have different types of indoor and outdoor products. For example, in the Roller Shades section, there are many very modern shades for all types of rooms and styles. For my house, I went with the woven wood shades as my wife felt it goes really well with the overall vibe of our house. For us, I picked the 50% blackout shades as there are no nearby neighbors that can see through these four windows. The fabric I picked was the jute bamboo style. You can pick either to mount the shades inside of your window trim or outside of it. And conveniently, down below, the website tells you the proper way to measure the dimension. Then I entered the dimension of my window. It is 57 three quarters for both width and height. Now down below, here is where you pick the type of control or smart home solutions. By default, the motor is just controllable by their remote control, but you can pick Zigbee, Alexa, and Apple HomeKit. Now these power shades have built-in lithium ion batteries, for convenience, you can add a solar panel to the package, so you don't have to worry about charging the shades ever so often. On SmartWings website, they stated the batteries can handle up to 600 up and down cycles before needing recharge. So assuming you do one cycle of up and down per day, that's roughly 10 months before needing to recharge the battery, which is not bad at all. If you go with any of the three smart home configurations, you don't really need the remote. But just in case, I picked a five channel remote since I'm getting four shades. Last but not least, you need to choose either the left motor or the right motor configuration. Now the website didn't really tell you why this is important. As you can see, the charging port for the battery is at an angle. For right motor configuration, the charging port points in towards the window. So if you plan to install a solar panel, it's a pretty good design to hide the cable. However, if you pick the left motor configuration, the charging port will point outward, making it much easier to plug in a cable to recharge your battery. Once you chose the motor side, you're done with the customization. Just hit add to cart and begin the next design or proceed to checkout. All right, here we go. So the package was shipped out from China on July 30th and was delivered to my front door on August 3rd. So shipping was really quick, roughly four to five days, give or take. The condition of the package looked pretty good. I'm not detecting any noticeable damage or anything. The package is also labeled really well. For example, we have the UN3481 label over here indicating there are batteries inside. There is also another label over here indicating the contents are fragile. So let's open it up and see the inside. So inside it looks really well packed. Got nice foaming, got nice bubble wrap. All right, let's see what we have here. We have one blind, the second blind, third and fourth. And I'm hearing some rattling over here. So most likely the mounting hardware are all residing in here. There should also be some accessories. So let me open these up and see if they're all inside. This is a mounting hardware, user's manual. Uh, looks to be the remote control and another remote control. All right, excellent. I also recall um, asking for their solar panels. Maybe they are in one of these packages. Let's take a look. Oh, 
on, there we go. This is the solar panel. All right, so as we can see here, the width I provided was 57 and three quarters. So the width of my window from one side of the trim to the other side of the trim was 57 and three quarter inches. And this blind measures 57 and a quarter. So the manufacturer automatically reduced half inch from your measurements, therefore giving you a quarter inch of space on both sides of the blind. This back plate is some sort of a wooden material. This side will be mounted on top of the window so you won't see these imperfections anyway. Now just to be completely transparent, I did encounter some minor issues in the shipment I received. Luckily, they were either easily repairable or they were minor issues that doesn't affect functionality. Okay, I just noticed on one of the blinds, this part actually fell loose. Um, probably due to shipment, but it looks like it is something that should be easily fixed. Uh, there's a little screw over there, so I will need to first pop open this little lid to access that screw. There we go. This little screw over here secures the plastic part. There are also these little hooks. Should be an easy fix. So these little two plastic hooks just hooks inside here. There we go. There, not a big deal. All right, so that's that. All right, and on another one, the plastic piece actually fell, and unfortunately, this is irreparable because the, the part that hooks onto the metal actually got snapped off on this side. Just cosmetic. Still sits in place though. The installation for these shades are extremely easy. All you need is a drill, a screwdriver, and a sharpie. That's it. You don't even need a tape measure. After installing, press and hold the power button for two seconds. The motor will jitter, indicating it's turned on. Once the motor is turned on, adding it to your Apple Home is easy. Go to your Home app, tap the plus sign on the upper left corner, and then tap Add Accessory. Each shade comes with a QR code. Just scan it using your phone's camera. See, it already knows I just scanned blind. Give it some time, and then pick a location for it. Here, I'm adding the shades in the guest bedroom. So I'm going to create a new room called Guest Bedroom. And for the shade, I'm going to call it Left Curtain. Tap Continue. The app will give you some automation suggestions. And that's it. I've now added one of the shades to my Apple Home app. There is about a three second delay from the moment I tap the shade on my phone to the start of the operation. But nevertheless, it works just fine. Now right here, I'm standing at about 8 feet away from these shades, and the noise level is super low. Very quiet operation. So overall, I'm really happy with these smart shades. These look great, works great, and are really quiet during operation. If you're in the market for smart shades, definitely check out Smart Wings. The integration with Apple HomeKit is a big plus for an Apple user like me. I have these on an automatic schedule, so the shades comes up in the morning and comes down in the evening. Super, super convenient. And of course, the addition of the solar panel completely eliminates the need to recharge the battery giving user a peace of mind. Hey, thank you for watching today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. See you next time.